Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Royal Report. I am your Royal 2IC, and today we are going to go over knife maintenance. Now, the knife that I am going to be using is one of my favorite knives. Uh, I love this old school style sheath, um, the way that this is. This actually goes on the back of me into uh, my belt loop that hangs down just below my lower back, so that way I can put my hands behind my back, grab and pull, and this kind of stays out of the way. It's not dangling this way up and down on my leg. It's not beating into me. Um, it's just it's out of the way for the size and the weight of what this is. Um, and also another reason why I love this: not only is the grip very very comfortable for my hand, but and excuse because I use this a lot. So this thing is um, needs some love. So let's see if I can get that in there. You can see that right there where that says Calhoun, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I live in Ohio and I do venture to Columbus at points in time. So for me to support somebody local, uh, this was made out of leaf spring, I believe off of an F-150, so you can see the thickness of the spine on this. And this is just a really well-balanced knife that I just, I use for so much. And so, it needs a little bit of love. I was going to sit down and do it anyway, but I figured it'd be a great opportunity to showcase. So, one of the things for me is I have a sharpening stone. It's got two sides on it. I know there's a ton of people that's going to come at me and go, no, no, they only have one side. This one actually does have two sides. This right here is going to be your fine, and this side right here, you probably can't hear it, but this is a coarse. And so what I usually do is I take this right here. I'm trying not to show the labels because I don't really want to advertise is I take a little bit of a cutting and grinding oil and I put, usually I do this with a towel, but I put just a little bit on there because it helps. You should see it kind of soak in to the stone. What you want, you don't want to have it to where it pools, or at least I don't, it's the way that I was taught. Now, once you get everything up in there, look back on that. You want to take your knife and you want to take, this is a lot more difficult trying to do it to where I'm showcasing. But what you're going to do is you want to get it at an angle, which again, this is going to be very, very hard. And you're going to basically draw. And you're going to want to have about that. I do. About a 35 degree, 37 degree angle. And you're just going to do a quick pull to where you're basically getting a little bit of an edge. Then we will rotate and we will do this side. And I know that there's going to be a bunch of people out there that kind of go, no, no, you're doing it wrong. Okay. There are multiple ways. And I'm sure actually the noise on the microphone is probably not fun for that. You're doing it wrong. Normally, I do it like this, and I know I get yelled at a ton for doing it this way. But I like to do it this way. Uh, I was taught by a older gentleman. And his knives were insanely sharp. And so I always took what he said to heart because his knives were always insanely sharp. And then we'll do this side here on the fine grit of this side. And we basically will do the same thing. Now, they do, and I know that, um, and I get this a lot from women. I'm not picking on women by any means. I get a lot of women 
I say, well, why can't I use my, my kitchen knife sharpener? Fair enough. Technically, you can. Knife sharpener is a knife sharpener. And so, much better. Uh, a knife sharpener is a knife sharpener. Um, you're going to want something eventually like this. Uh, there's multiple other ones that you can get um, just because you don't know what you're going to come across. Uh, a, a kitchen knife sharpener is made for something like a pair of scissors or a kitchen knife of some sort. When you start getting into bigger blades, so a bigger knife, um, kind of like a, like a Bowie knife, maybe like a machete, um, a bayonet, even all the way up to swords and things like that, you're going to want some way to be able to sharpen it. And we're talking about SHTF situations. So this is a great skill to have. This is great items to have and to learn. So that way, if something is to ever come out that you know, SHTF does happen, then you will have the supplies and knowledge to be able to actually provide maintenance to your knives. Really need to clean this one up. I'm sorry, knife. You are my absolute favorite and go-to. I have let you get into this. So, lesson learned on that one. Um, I usually don't let it get this bad, but I have been using it a lot lately. So, she just needs a little bit of a cleanup. Uh, no, I'm not gouging. I know that I will probably get a few people that come in there and be like, no, you can't do that. Um, really, on yours, as long as you get a knife that you feel comfortable wielding. You can probably see the hair and stuff on there to know. Um, as long as you get a knife to where you are comfortable in your hand, it is balanced you can utilize for the function that you've got it then learn how to take care of it and that knife will last you a lifetime for something this thick this meaty of a knife as long as i don't go out here and try and do a forged in fire um trying to stab this into concrete 57 times in a row as long as I use this for what I'm supposed to use this as a knife, keep it sharp, keep it clean. This thing will be by my side. Probably it'll probably outlive me. I'll be able to pass this down. So, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, and actually, if you guys have a favorite knife or anything along those lines, I'd like to uh, know about them. I, I love knives. So, especially if you're over on Facebook, or if you're not comfortable sharing with some other ones, you can always just send me an email. I always like to see pictures of knives and hear stories. People have some of the most interesting stories about they stumbled upon a really cool one at a uh, garage sale or a flea market, or they had a knife passed down, you know, uh, maybe a, a some sort of a, like a war knife, maybe like a K-bar or something like that. Uh, and so knives are, are a wonderful tool. They also have a very uh, beautiful quality to them. Now, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. So uh, do all the fun YouTube things. Check us out over on Facebook. And with that, remember to remain united because we're all prepping in this together.